This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen The Ultimate Space Race, a short new animated documentary of sorts from director Jake Wegeson. Wegeson? Wegeson? Hmm. Uh, obviously, it takes a rather condensed look at the space race of the 1950s and 60s between the United States and the Soviet Union. It has a bit of an alternate perspective on the affair, listing out the various milestones met by each side over the length of time, rather than looking at the overall span of progress. Naturally, it results in a somewhat surprising conclusion. Well, maybe not too surprising. Either way, it also results in a pretty short film. Yeah, somehow I got two of these really short shorts this week. No skin off my back, at least. Since this movie has different issues besides just being so condensed that it's impossible to feel like a full story is being told. Uh, granted, the film has an ironic slant in its presentation that makes the compressed story a necessity, but it still feels more like it's skimming over a lot of potential substance or history in favor of the greater punchline. It just makes it feel a bit tilted, in the sense that there was an ending in mind that influenced the entire presentation before it, and so the whole production was led by that sort of direction, instead of going the other way around. The final result feels a bit less honest, at least if you're going into it expecting something truly educational rather than satirical. So I suppose it's a case of mileage varying per person. That said, regardless of how the story events are treated, the animation on display is definitely the highlight going on in this short. It presents everything that occurs in a stark, comically simplified manner, at times putting a more contemporary spin on older events or technology. The visuals are CG, but presented as if they were miniatures or cutouts, and at times going as far as to make some elements look distinctly stop-motion. It's a detail that adds to the comedic treatment, given the greater presentation of the story as if it were a newsreel or an educational film. Like, one for schools, I mean. Anyways, it's also got a great color balance, given that it's in black and white, and makes good use of the greater monochromatic spectrum instead of somehow making everything a muddy blob of various shades of gray. The quick pacing also makes the overall story rather fun to take in because of how fast the information is delivered. Again, the greater point of the story is the comedic take on past events and how they've come to be interpreted today within the greater scope of history. I just have a few reservations, but I'll chalk that up as a personal problem. The Ultimate Space Race, Jake Wigesson, 2022. Three stars. I suppose I'd still say that it's worth giving a try. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I don't know, I just feel like they could have been a bit more subtle about the overall message being shared. Maybe that's what I get for watching really short shorts.